Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Augustus, and I'm back again with another episode of Tsukihime. When we last left off, we were confronted by the person that we cut into 17 pieces. And now, she's asking if we will cooperate with her. So what will we do? Will we cooperate, not cooperate, or try to escape? Well, we will cooperate with her. And... This is a bit of a special choice, as this is the first time so far in the entire route that we can willingly get points with the main heroine. We've gotten some already, but we were not given a choice about that, at least not until much, much later. After we've gone through the, through the game once or possibly twice, I don't remember what the trigger for that is. I'd have to, I'd have to go back and check, it, and check the flags, but let's not concern ourselves with that right now. We will cooperate. I, for some reason, I can't decline. I did kill her, after all. It's my fault she's weak and has to ask others for help. It is my responsibility. Besides, although I've known her for a little while, she doesn't seem like a bad person. So, how about it? Can't a human like you cooperate with a vampire like me? Well, that would be the obvious answer, but... Ah, don't look at me with those eyes. Why is it? It's making me feel so overcome with guilt and unable to refuse. But now that I've gotten myself into this mess, I won't be able to sleep at night if I just deny all the responsibility. Man, I just know I'm going to regret this. So, yeah, I think I could probably do it. The enemy is a serial killer, right? As a resident of this town, I'd probably be struck with some kind of divine punishment if I refused to help you. Huh? You mean... I'm not going to be your shield, but if it's just being your lookout, I'll do it. I feel disgusted at how stupid I am as soon as those words are out of my mouth. I feel disgusted, but there is something about her deeply shocked expression that's... Wow, you serious? I'm really a vampire, you know. Hey, listen, why are you saying all this now after you've threatened me so much? Uh, hmm, that's true, but... Whatever. If you're going to cooperate with me, then I should be grateful. With a very happy expression on her face, she approaches me as I lie there on my rear up against the wall. Our contract is established. She extends her hand towards me. I guess I can finally introduce myself now. I'm not entirely sure the proper pronunciation of her name. I'm 99.9% .9 sure her name is actually pronounced Arcoid. Probably much faster than that, or at least a little bit faster. Um, I always read it, however, as Arcoid, and I will probably end up calling her that more often than not. Um, partially because I just prefer that pronunciation, but mostly because that's, you know, whenever I first read it like that and I read through the entire entire visual novel before realizing or reading finding out whatever that her name is not pronounced that way it kind of sticks with you so i will make an attempt again an attempt to pronounce her name correctly but i i promise nothing and i don't even promise for sure that her name is actually pronounced arcoade that's just how uh how i heard read that it was pronounced it was arcu and then Wade without the W, so Arcoade. But, you know, it is what it is, and, you know, learn by doing. I'm Arcoade. My last name is really long, so just Arcoade is fine. There, I'm doing it now. I'm a true ancestor type vampire. How about you? I heave a heavy sigh at her unprecedented introduction. It's a sign of resignation evidence I've decided to accept this nonsensical situation. I'm Tonoshiki. Sadly, I'm just your everyday student. 
I've said it before, but I'm really not much going to be much use. Grasping her, Arcoid's hand, I stand up. She takes a long, hard look at me and then offers me her hand again. Nice to meet you, Shiki. I'll have you take responsibility for killing me. Arcoid grins as she extends her left hand. <sighs> there are all sorts of responsibilities in this world, but this is probably the first and last time someone takes responsibility by helping someone they've killed. Damn it. This is seriously messed up. But there's nothing else I can do. I grudgingly extend my left hand and shake hands with the woman in white claiming to be a vampire. <coughs> this is a pretty nice room. I'd have no problem spending the night here. Arcoway looks around the hotel room. Oh, that was actually her. got nothing to say for now. My room has probably already been discovered, so let's hide out here for the night. Oh, you don't have to worry about money. I'm rich, so I'll treat you. Speaking cheerfully, Arcoade closes the curtains. She also turns off the lights and the room becomes as dark as night. I sigh. What are you thinking, Arcoade? I'm thinking about all sorts of stuff. That's not what I meant. I mean, I'm asking why you've rented a room in a high-class hotel, not a cheap one, and why you've rented out the whole top floor. I try to say this, but I stop. Right now, my job is to guard this so-called vampire and nothing more, and if you think about it just, just a little bit, you'll kind of realize that if she rents out the entire top floor of a hotel, um, there's less collateral damage, hopefully, question mark, hopefully. I'm not going to ask any useless questions. No, forget it. Do whatever you want. You're weird, Shiki. Suddenly getting mad and going silent like that. They just don't get you. Arcoade lies on the bed, smiling like she's having fun. I do like that might be a bit of a spoiler, I hope not. Shiki acts a little bit differently to each heroine through the game, of course. Um, I think the funniest, funnest interactions are with Arcoid here. Um, I do like all of his other interactions with the other main character, or main heroines, but I think his interactions with Ark are um, probably the most fun. Probably. I'm going to sleep until the sun sets. You'd better rest while you have the chance. Vampires don't move about in the daytime, so you'll be on guard for real during the night. Do you realize you just said something that completely contradicts your existence? Oh, it's alright for me. Oh, I guess it's almost my limit. Good night, Shiki. Wake me up when the sun sets. Hey. Like a machine whose power is cut off, Arcoid suddenly falls asleep. <sighs> She's so defenseless. Right now, I could run away if I wanted to. She'd force me to come with her, after all. She did force me to come with her, after all. I could easily run away now. And I don't have that impulse anymore. But, I even killed you once, yet... How is she able to suddenly fall asleep despite that? Yeah, she's able to not fall asleep, or fall asleep near you, even though you killed her. You cut her into 17 pieces. I look at Arcoade's face as she sleeps on the bed. Her plump chest rises and falls. It looks like she's breathing, but her body isn't moving at all. It looks like the air around her has stopped. It's so tranquil, even I might stop moving. Actually, it makes me think about something. Does Ark need to breathe? For some reason, I remember that she doesn't, but 
saying here that it looks like she's breathing. That's hmm, bad memory on my part, possibly a weird continuity error that they just didn't think about the description of scenes and whatnot, not taking into account yada yada yada. The pointless stuff you think about when you know you're reading this aloud for the however many time I've read that sentence. What a peaceful slumber. As a kind of defenselessness, as if she had absolute trust in me, even though we've only just met. She's so stupid. She is so stupidly honest, I might start to worry. But aside from that, this is a turning point. This may very well be the point of no return for Tono Shiki. No, that was a little while ago. I... Ooh, this choice. We are actually going to save for this because... And I'm going to take a drink before I do this because I need a bit of water. The option here... We can get our first bad end and we can see what happens with that. Tasty. Um, I do like wine. I very much like wine. Um, we're going to try to escape because this can end very, very badly for us. And again, the first bad end of the route. I'm looking forward to this. I love, well, you'll see what I love. Which means this episode is probably going to be a bit longer than normal because I'm going to try to get the, I'm going to try to make sure the bad end is at this episode so I can resume from where I just saved and, you know, to make my save files a little bit more manageable. Uh, God, the fact that this has 20 save files infuriates me to no end. But that's unimportant. Let's, let's get back to where we are. I still want to continue living in a proper, respectable world. I do feel responsible for killing Arcoid. Actually, I don't know if I remember seeing this um, bad end. I, I'm not 100% sure. But I think there's something wrong with being forced to do something I can't do. I have seen most of them, but not all of them. But again, Arcoid is asleep. She's trusting me, someone who's killed her once already and sleeping peacefully. Damn it. But even so, I can't do it. I quietly start to walk. Turning my back to Arcoid, sleeping with complete faith in me, I leave the hotel room. The corridor is silent. We're on the 11th floor, the top floor in the hotel. Since she rented out the whole floor, there are no other guests here. I still feel a tinge of indecisiveness, but I shake it off and press the elevator button. Taking the train from the hotel, I return to town. It's just past noon. School is about to finish, so I think it's probably okay for me to head back to the mansion. How are you going to explain this to uh, Akiha? You know, huh? huh? Skipping school, huh? Like a bad kid? All the same, I don't feel like going back to the mansion. I decide to head back to the park to cool my head for a bit. Sigh. Sitting down on the bench, I vacantly stare up into the sky. The sky is still cloudy, much like the scenery within my own heart. I wonder if she's still sleeping, believing in me. I killed her once, and yet she said she would forgive me. She had forgiven me, and yet, what am I doing here? Last night, after I killed Arcoid, I swore to myself that I would atone for it no matter what. Was that an oath I could break when my life is in danger? Was that all it was? <sighs> but I do want to live. This is a problem that I can't ignore as long as I'm alive. And it's not something I can easily dismiss as a moment of passion and forget about it. That power is yours. But that is your very reason why you must never forget. 
I recall those precious words from long, long ago. She, Sensei, what did she say to me? There's still time. The sun hasn't set yet. If I can return to the hotel before the sun sets, I'll probably still make it in time. Damn it. I can't throw away my doubts. In the end, I actually have the option to go back on what we just did or continue to get the bad end. If we go back on what, on what we just did, um, we get a pretty big decrease to Ark's regard, um, her points. So, and it just continues on like normal. So I don't, there's a, there's a bit of an extra scene. I'm, I'm not gonna worry about that too much, I don't think. I more just wanna show the bad ends um, through the routes than every single scene. I'm not too interested in that. Not for this, anyway. Ah, uh, wine is tasty. Um, so, we're gonna go back to the mansion. I value my life. I recalled the scene yesterday when I killed Arguid. The stench of death and blood. I never want to experience something like that again. That is an unfortunate statement just throughout this entire game. Every single route. That is an unfortunate statement from our good friend, Tonoshiki. If I were to remain with Arkuid, there is no question that I would be subjected to that scene again. If I don't want that, I'll have to go back to the mansion. <coughs> I get the feeling that there's some major flaw in my decision. But right now, everything is a mess in my head and my sense of logic refuses to function properly. Anyhow, for now, I'll return to my own room for some rest. I'm sure I'll calm down and think clearer then. Nothing bad will happen at all. The sun has gone down, and my surroundings have been cast into darkness. It's probably past seven now. The curfew for the mansion is eight, so I'd better hurry back if I don't want to get scolded by Akia. The streets around the mansion are deserted like always. The sun's only just gone down, but the silence is like that of midnight. I'm gonna think of it. This place is... Where I've gone to check out that noisy stray dog the night I first returned to the mansion. Huh. I'm beset by a terrible premonition of misfortune. Strange. Suddenly... My surroundings have become completely black. I hear a dripping sound. Where's that sound coming from? It's coming from nearby. My body is starting to cool. It's coming from nearby. Alarms are going off somewhere in my head. Drip, 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 drip. The sound. I think it's coming from right behind my neck. Ah. I collapse onto the asphalt. My limbs won't move and my consciousness dims. At the bottom of my thinning consciousness, all I find out is a few black dogs are feeding on my arms and legs. And that is the first bad end. Pretty uneventful. Unremarkable. Will you take CL Sensei's lesson? Yes. Yes, we will. Teach me, CL Sensei. Bonjour. This corner is for the bad Tonokun who'd rather easily ended up at a dead end. It is time for Teach Me, CL Sensei. We'll be, op we'll be seeing a lot of each other from now on, so please give me your best regards. By the way, my students are the thousands of Tonokuns out there all over the country, and what nya? What's the difference in our treatment? Tsukihime's main heroine, Arkuwaid-san. Now, we will start first period. 
goodness, that won't do at all, Tonokun. This dead end is just too much, right? I know exactly how you feel when you do not wish to make friends with that suspicious vampire, but you've just got to bear with it here. In order to live, one must have endurance, and they say that if you can't beat them, join them. Please, just try to demonstrate the Japanese quality of not being able to say no. Oh, and since you ended up being dog food without a chance, you'll have to restart from an earlier point and do a makeup. Also, you have freedom to choose your respon or what response you make in the alley, but I think it's not a good idea to run away. Well, that's all for first period. Second period will be a lecture about wild animals. It will be called Snakes in Shivers Animal Land. Well then, goodbye everyone. And that is where we're going to end off this episode. We just got our first bad end because we abandoned, we abandoned Arcoade in the hotel. Next time, we will find out what happens if you aren't a horrible, horrible person and abandoning the person that you killed in a hotel room, even though she is trusting you implicitly. I hope to see you all there.